The Infrastructure and Tourism Appropriations Budget provides $19.8 billion for our state's infrastructure needs. Taking care of the men and women on the front lines, we made great efforts to further provide for the safety and protection of our citizens. We are fully, we are fully funding Highway Safety's top budget requests, which includes their top priority, the Motorist Modernization IT Project, as well as new equipment for the FHP, which includes ballistic shields for all officers. We are recommending $165 million for another round of first responder bonus payments, as well as $30 million for the Florida Law Enforcement Recruitment Bonus Program within DEO. This is providing, proving to be another critical tool for recruiting law enforcement officers around the state. Finally, in the Department of Military Affairs, we're, we are fully funding the request for new equipment and also recommending an additional $2 million for the Guard Tuition Assistance Program, which brings its total recurring funding to $5.2 million. We're providing $13.9 million as requested for various fixed capital needs for maintenance of major renovations of our armories and $56.3 million for major upgrades to Camp Blanding specifically. Most notably, we are fully funding the governor's recommendation for the State Guard. This totals $107.6 million for personnel, equipment, compensation, and fixed capital needs. This budget includes total economic development funding of $119.8 million. This maintains much of the department's base funding for various economic development programs, including the Black Business Loan Program, the Hispanic Business Initiative, and Military Base Protection. There's also $25 million for the Job Growth Grant Fund, $18.5 million for Space Florida to further bolster the space industry in our state, $9 million for planning and financing rural infrastructure projects, and $11 million for defense infrastructure grants. The budget maintains full funding for our libraries, and that includes $17.3 million for state aid to libraries and $2 million for the Library Cooperative Grant Program. Regarding the department's approved grants list, the budget includes a total of $58.4 million. There's $50.5 million in funding for cultural and museum grants and $7.9 million for historic preservation grants. Within emergency management, 11 new positions and almost $2.5 million are provided to more appropriately staff DEM's recovery risk and audit compliance functions, as well as expanding, expanding their regional coordination teams during emergency response activities. Additionally, there's $25 million for grant funding available for local communities to repair and recover from Hurricane Ian and Nicole, and finally, this budget fully funds the transportation work program at $13.4 billion as requested. Plus, the budget includes an additional $2 billion invested in the Moving Florida Forward program. This investment in our transportation infrastructure represents a $4 billion increase over last year.